Hello and welcome to ELT Chat, an educational podcast making English language teaching and training more transparent. My name is Benjamin Stewart at BenjaminLStewart.net. Before we get into today's topic, if you have any thoughts, insights, or would like to share any of your experiences, please feel free to reach out to me on my Twitter handle at B-N-L-E-E-Z. Today I want to spend uh, some time talking about RemNote and as an instructor I'd like to share my current workflow and something I just came across today. Sharing a way to create kind of a dashboard, <clears throat> an easier way to access course content, thinking about how you're planning using RemNote to plan and even share some of that planning with students. So today I want to get into uh, my current workflow, how I'm planning for next semester, the spring semester of 2023, and also how I'm planning and uh, organizing my courses that I'm currently teaching this month, December 2022, going into next month, January of 2023. Today is December 24th, 2022, and I'll show you my RemNote workflow today here and if you're listening to this podcast i'll include the link to the video if you want to view the video and see uh, exactly what i'm referring to in today's broadcast if anyone has any suggestions any additional insights or anything that i'm missing maybe there's an easier way to go about doing what i'd like to what i'm trying to achieve uh please let me know whether you leave a comment in youtube or reach out to me via my Twitter handle, B-N-L-E-E-Z. All right, so I'm going to open up here my my rim notes and show you what I, how I've currently set up, how I currently have my courses organized. In the sidebar on the left-hand side of my screen, you'll see two folders. And I'm going to refer to these folders as dashboards. I have one dashboard called Spring 2023 semester and I have a second dashboard that's called December 2022 to January 2023. Now I'll start with this dashboard called December 2022 to January 2023. These are the courses that I'm currently teaching. And you'll notice that I have each of the courses outlined in purple. One course that's called Assessment of Learning in English, a second course Communicative Abilities in English, a third, call, a third course called Reading Comprehension Workshop, and a fourth course called Writing One. Now underneath each of these courses, you'll notice if you're familiar with RimNote, you can open and collapse or expand and collapse information within each of these. And these are, these courses, each course is actually a document. So I can open up this document, and this is what the entire document looks like. And these are basically what I'm referring to as syllabus pages. These are documents or REMs that include typically information that you would find in a syllabus. So going back to the dashboard, you'll notice that I don't have the entire information or the entire document, the content of that document in each of these or under each of these headings. I just have learning sequence. You'll notice here that just below learning sequence, there is a tag here that's called 10 hidden. If I were to click on this, you can see all of the course content. In fact, I'll go ahead and add all of that information. So typically if you open up a document and you expand it, you'll usually see all of this information here. But because this is a dashboard, I only want to see, in this case, learning sequence. I want to isolate some of the information because, again, the idea for using a dashboard for me is to be able to easily switch between courses and plan the, each of the courses very quickly. So a lot of this information I really don't need at this point within this dashboard. So how can I achieve this? How can I list or just isolate the information that I want just below each of these courses? So you can do that by collapsing all of the information first and then putting the cursor at the end of the title heading. Click Enter. And I'm going to click 
tab to bring it within each of this. So notice that when I do that, I don't have all of the information that's listed in the course content like we just viewed a moment ago. I can open and or I can collapse or expand this information. And when I do that, notice that now I have an option where it says 11 hidden. If I click here, now it shows all of the course content. It's basically hiding the information and asking you what information you want to include. Again, I can select all if I wish, but in this case, I just want to show learning sequence. And that is how I'm able to view just the information from this page, from the syllabus page. I just want to view learning sequence. Again, I want to do this for each of my courses so that I can easily go from course to course from uh, the, the course content. So I can easily go into each of, in this case, modules to plan my class. All right. And that's what I've done for each of these. All right. So again, I can select all, shows all of the information. If you want to isolate information, you want to collapse first, hit enter and tab to go to embed information under this, under this uh, heading. I want to collapse and expand it again because otherwise you won't get the option to view the hidden information. Select what information you want to appear. And that's it. Okay, so in this case, I can easily go into each of the modules, bring it up side by side, do what I need to do, collapse it, go to another course, do the same thing. And at a glance, semester by semester, I can include this dashboard, create this dashboard for me to get to move in and out of course content very easily. Now I can easily imagine myself creating a similar type of dashboard or let's say a page with embedded content so that maybe students can easily access certain information that I want them to, to access. So I think this easily transfers to creating spaces in RimNote for students based on the activity, based on the types of interactions and types of content that you're sharing with students that you could easily transfer this same process to help students uh, do the same, to achieve the same, to be able to move in and out of certain uh, references or links or REMs or, or documents, however you want to refer to it as. Um, but one thing that I want to show you here, and I'm going to now switch to next semester the dashboard called Spring 2023. Now these are courses that I'm planning on teaching next semester. And again, I've started off here with four different classes, Applied Linguistics, Communicative Abilities in English 2, Writing Workshop, and a Writing 2 course. Okay, so these are the four classes that I'm planning to teach next semester. And I can first, if I want to create headings, I can select all of them and click the dash, change it to a heading. And if I open up, again, I can open up the documents by clicking on the icon just to the left of the heading. This takes me to the course content. Go back, do the same for this course. Currently, I don't have a lot of information in each of the courses, but I'm going to show you here what this would look like. So again, I'm going to follow the same uh, procedure. I'm going to first close. In fact, let me show this again here. If I expand, okay, this is all the information in the course. This is the same information that you can see going directly to the REM or the document itself. Okay, again, this is just if you're not familiar with uh, RemNote. And so now I want to just focus on certain a certain section of the syllabus. So I'm going to do the same. I'm going to put the cursor at the end of the title, click enter, tab, and it, the hidden option doesn't appear until I close 
and then expand again the the heading now I have an option here now this looks a little bit different because I'm using a different template I'm gonna use or I'm gonna view content calendar this is what I'm gonna be using and currently there's nothing in content calendar but you'll notice that it was inserted the heading was inserted into the page now I can go back to the page itself this is the original document and I can open up of course uh, the content calendar notice there's nothing here so let's look at these side by side so I'm gonna pull up the document side by side and this is what I'd like to show you and this is gonna work in any kind of dashboard that you have set up the way that I've explained it here let's say that I go to the syllabus page and I go to content calendar I can create content and notice that it's updating automatically my dashboard right so this is where I have basically two different pages but it's being updated automatically because again these are functioning more as kind of portals they're embedded rims basically the same rim just being viewed in two different locations but probably my workflow is going to be more where I'm working within the the dashboard itself and content is going to be automatically updated to the syllabus page this is probably this is what I'm anticipating on doing more often than not because again it's just going to make it that much easier for me to to work in one space where I have all my courses for the semester and I can easily move from course to course plan my classes very quickly and then have that information be uploaded and, and updated automatically in the syllabus page now I can choose later to see to decide do I want my students to access you know in this case I probably will share the syllabus page to my students all right so as I am working and planning myself and my dashboard those changes will be reflected in the syllabus page that is going to be accessible to my students and so again you can probably see how this will play out in a lot of different scenarios where you're deciding on what kind of workflow works best for you within RemNode and then also what kind of information is being published to students or maybe even to the public to see to have a little bit more control on what you want your audience or your students to see versus what you want to see within your own workflow and this is what I'd like to share with you here today this tip on how you can use kind of a, a dashboard setup to draw this comparison between your internal workflow as an instructor in this case which is my context and also the published content what you want to share with others whether it's your students whether it's uh, to the public at large and I think this is currently uh, the best way that I have found so far to be able to set up this kind of workflow so I wanted to share this with you here today and I hope this helps if you are an instructor a trainer a teacher if you're using RemNote you have a better way of achieving something similar as what I've shared here today feel free to uh, reach out to me I'm, I'm certainly always open to finding new ways of uh, using RemNote and finding ways to kind of streamline my process as, as an instructor so if you do have any thoughts, if you have any insights, if you have any experiences with RemNote you want to share, uh, feel free to reach out to me on my Twitter handle at B-N-L-E-E-Z. This has been ELT Chat, an educational podcast making English language teaching and learning more transparent. Thanks for listening.